Terry Rich reporting for the Greater Des Moines Habitat. I'm telling you, this is exciting because this is kind of the end of the process and around the holidays, this is an exciting time, lots of smiles because those of you that take uh, equipment and uh, um, different types of things from your home to resell at the Habitat Restore, and then those of you that go in and buy those items, and those of you that donate to Greater Des Moines Habitat, all of the money comes together for a house just like this. And Dan's with me from Greater Des Moines Habitat. And Dan, let's, let's talk about the dedication. This house is, is part of the dedication on a great year. Yeah, so at the end of this year, Terry, we've dedicated uh, 10 homes that are, that are finishing soon. And so that means 10 families are moving in. Our dedications are celebrations of the work that's gone into Habitat Homes. Um, we include people like sponsors and um, families and their family members. And um, we also include our volunteers and Habitat staff. And so everybody gets together to have one big celebration of all the work that's gone into these things. And uh, yeah, we celebrated recently with 10 families that are moving in soon. Families being able to move into a brand new home now. Do, do you choose everything in a home like this? How does that work? Oh, that wouldn't be any fun. There are some things that families get to choose, um, you know, so that makes the, the house their own. Um, you know, we have a bunch of different flooring types and countertop types. The color of the outside of the house are all um, choices that the family gets to make to kind of have a little bit more investment in, in the appearance of their house. And I know employees like you around the holidays to be able to be in these kinds of celebrations have to be, and all of the volunteers really has to be rewarding. Describe that feeling. Oh, it's, it's wonderful to see um, the work that people put in to these home ownership opportunities and, and, you know, especially the families, but, you know, staff and volunteers and sponsors you come to fruition any time of the year. I mean, it's, you know, it's nice around the holidays, but any time of the year, the dedication is the one thing that, that everybody can always agree on enjoying. Now, this year alone, you've got 25 total houses 10 at the end of the year mm -hmm. describe the things you see from the people who are will be moving into homes like this uh, what they've gone through to to what they're feeling now sure so when they start the the habitat program you know it's a lot to get into um, folks are setting financial goals to prepare themselves for home ownership they're saving money they're working on their credit they're um, you know, cleaning up any any sort of like collections and just getting mortgage ready to to you know be successful in their home ownership opportunity. In in addition to you know the financial goals that people set, they're working on um, home ownership education. So we want to help people avoid some of the pitfalls that first time homeowners run into. Um, you know, we share a lot of stories about like what I would have done if I would have known. And we try to, to address some of those things up front for folks in our, in our uh, education process. So they're um, getting classes. They're also doing sweat equity, sure. um, which is when they're contributing time to uh, volunteer on their house and other houses that Habitat are building and um, in our resource. Okay, well, let's, now that we've had the celebration here of uh, the last 10 homes for the year, let's talk about Next year, what, how could somebody that might be interested in new home ownership, or if you know someone who might be, mm -hmm. how do they get involved? Well, we're hoping for a big year next year for our houses, and um, we're opening up application in February of 2022. If you're interested in applying, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, you can apply online at gdmhabitat.org. Say that apply. one more time. gdmhabitat.org. You can apply online there. Um, where you can find our online home, home ownership application. You can walk through that digitally. You can print one off online if you'd rather print one off and mail it in. You can also come see us in the office where we've got staff members ready to assist folks with filling out their applications and getting those uh, turned in. So check that out on the website. And again, uh, it all comes together at the same time. The rehab, uh, the restores mm -hmm. have equipment that, you know, if you have donations of uh, you're building a new home and you have leftover materials, uh, uh, what types of what's the most popular things being being donated at this point uh, to the restore oh, yeah. I don't know I, I'm a little to, everything I'm trying to remember what I saw when I was working there uh, people bring in you know pretty much anything that's seasonally good for renovations you know summertime people are bringing in all sorts of you know things that people like to renovate in the summertime so garden projects uh, doors you know, paint leftover sometimes occasionally leftover paint but so donate those 
go to the stores, you'll find things. If you're doing a rehab you have for yourself, there is equipment there. And finally, if it's the end of year and you have a gift or you're gifting stock anyway to great organizations, consider Greater Des Moines Habitat. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you, Jim. From the uh, Greater Des Moines Habitat and the beautiful homes that are happening. And what a fun thing. You see the smile, Dan, and all of the, all of the employees, all the staff, and of course, the new homeowners around the holiday time. This is pretty special.